It is hot and sizzling out here in these streets. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin Kay. And today we are going to be diving into what my first six months as a UGC creator looked like. So if you are interested, please keep watching. So I know a lot of you all are like, what is UGC? How did that come about? All the shebang. I'm gonna give it to you. But first, what I need you to do is subscribe because a lot of y'all are watching, but you're not subscribing. And I just feel like if I blessed you with some information, you gotta bless me with a little subscriber count and a little like button. Like, it's not that hard and it's free. Just saying. But on a real tip, I came across UGC about three months ago from Crystal Waters and a baddie in business. I think that's her YouTube name. If it's not, I'm gonna leave them both right here. But I came across what are ways that I could be a content creator without really having to show my face and having to build a large following. Lo and behold, I was introduced into the world of UGC, which is user generated content. In a nutshell, user generated content is honestly when you post your favorite items on your Instagram story or TikTok. What that will look like is if you bought a new blender, coffee pot, coffee creamer, you go to your story and you're like, I just bought this, it's amazing, you should go get it. That is essentially user generated content. Now with that user generated content, you could potentially be making money or receiving free product in return for your review of a specific product. UGC is important for companies today because they are honestly realizing that in this day and generation of people, of consumers, we're not gonna buy from the same Caucasian shorty that y'all have spread out across five different brands. We're just not gonna do it. So that is why it's important for them to incorporate colored folk, big size folk, all shapes and sizes of people within their brands reviewing their products so that their consumers can see, oh, there's somebody that looks like me. Oh, there's somebody that looks like my mom. There's somebody that looks like my brother, my teacher, my babysitter, my aunt, my uncle. Consumers need to see this and brands are just coming to the realization of the more that a customer can relate to who is reviewing the product, the more they're likely to purchase it. So my first six months in UGC, I'm gonna tell you what branch I reached out to, how they responded back, and how much money I made, and what items I received for free. Let's get into it. Initially, when I went through my building, my portfolio, building my email, the template, subject, heading line, after I did all that, I made a list of companies that I was gonna reach out to. And honestly, they were from brands that I had in my house. My top one was skinny mixes. I freaking love skinny mixes. Skin Jordan skinny mixes. I have a video where I did my three morning drinks to maintain weight loss because her mixes, like her coffee serves, literally helped me to maintain my weight loss because I drink coffee so much. And I like my flavor, but I don't want to sacrifice, you know, you know. So they were the first brand that I really wanted to get and I ended up getting them. But I had to wait three weeks for them to one, see my email and respond to it to give me the email of the person I needed to send my email to. Because they do not keep their PR person's emails public because then everybody would be emailing them. And that's just too much. But I reached out with my portfolio, email, all that shebang, and they got back to me and then just told me, yeah, we don't have any paid campaign opportunities right now, but send us your address and what you want and we will send it to you for free. I didn't have to pay for anything. I said, oh my gosh. So I didn't want to be greedy because this was my first time getting something. So I think I ordered like seven things. And they sent it to me. Now, when I got it, half of it was destroyed. And it wasn't their fault. It was the delivery person's fault. But I emailed them back and say, hey, half the stuff was destroyed. I'm thinking they're not going to send me it. But they replaced everything. So I actually have double of the stuff in here. No, I'm going to drink that. Received product from them. Made some content in return. They reposted it on their Instagram story. Boom, boom, pow. That was my first UGC content collaboration with the brand my second one was doris hair and that is a hair store on amazon they reached out to me via instagram saw that i was a ugc creator and asked would i be interested in doing a review on their human hair extensions so with this collaboration i actually had to purchase the hair with my own money first but i was reimbursed via paypal i was actually reimbursed via paypal after 
And then I received a commission after I finished reviewing the product of, I believe, $45 and was able to keep the hair and all this stuff like that. My next UGC collaboration after that was Nutra Harmony. And between you and me, next to Skinny Mixes, Nutra Harmony is like my favorite. Nutra Harmony is my favorite. They reached out to me via Twitter, seeing that I was a UGC creator and said that we would love for you to review this product. And y'all, when I tell you, I fell in love with it. I got it for free, but they wanted me to review and create content for their liquid biotin and collagen raspberry flavored liquid vitamin. And when I tell you I'm all things skin, hair, nails, that stuff, chef's kiss. Like chef's kiss. It's so good. I let everybody in my house try it and we were just thriving. Thriving in skin, thriving in hair, new growth. I would pull it up right now so you can see, you can, you can kind of see it a little bit. New breakage lays down, new growth doesn't lay down. If you've been trying to figure out if your hair's breaking or growing, yeah. A sent me an agreement that I had to sign with my name, signature and all, that they would send me the product for free pay me after and then i would have to keep the content that i created up on my instagram profile for about three weeks and then i could take it down and y'all that product was phenomenal like it was everything my next collab after that was from a phone case brand that reached out to me via twitter again and they said that they would like for me to review their phone case they would pay for me to review their phone case. I would review it after I would review it that they wanted me to participate in a promotion that they had to talk to other UGC creators or even just followers that I had to get this phone case, try it out, leave a review. And then every review that they got, I would get a commission for and there would be no cap to it. So, you know, I took that and ran with it because the girlies, we be on it on Twitter. UGC girls be on it on Twitter. So... We still ranking the money up on that one. <laughs> I'll put that down there probably in another video. My collaboration after that was with Swirly Curly and that is a curly girl shampoo hairline. Now, with this one y'all, I fumbled the bag. They did send me the product for free and was offering me $200 after I created content for it. However, when I got around to creating the content, the campaign was over. So I fumbled the bag, I fumbled the bag. But they let me keep the stuff, so. That's good, that's good. And after Swirly Curly, my most current collaboration is with Nutra Harmony again. After I finished reviewing their liquid vitamin, I reached out to them and let them know if you all have any other promotions that you need somebody to create content for, anybody to go on your lives, like let me know. I wanna be a part of it, I love your product, I believe in it, not everybody's trying to do Nutra Harmony, I will do Nutra Harmony. And they reached out and let me know that they were launching a new line of vitamins that they wanted people to try and create content for and that they would be sending me the money to purchase it and an agreement after. So, y'all, after all this is said and done, this is how much I received in total of free product given to me from these companies. Right here. This is all those items together. This is how much that was. In hand as in cash of what I received from these UGC collaborations, I believe it was around about $72, $75 of just straight cash that I could use however I wanted via PayPal. Now, do I believe UGC is worth it? I do. I believe it's worth it because it is a good start to content creation. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to have a large following. You don't have to be known. You literally just need to make fire content and show it to brands. And they're gonna tell you if they want you or if they don't. But nine times out of 10, after you get a couple emails of people saying, eh, we can afford you, and eh, we don't need that right now, somebody's gonna buy it. And you're gonna get your break and it's just gonna work out for you. And with anything, when you apply yourself, things have to happen for you. I'm a firm believer in that. I believe that God will reward those who diligently just do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> in a nutshell after six months of ugc i definitely believe it's worth it could i have gone harder i definitely believe that i could have but i was new to it so knowing what i know now i'm about to go back in. i'm about to refresh my portfolio update some things move in a 
more professional manner, especially after I've researched UGC. And I'm going to come back in probably maybe four months and let you all know how those changes have impacted my UGC journey. So in a nutshell, I received a lot of free products. It was a lot for me. The money wise, that was more than what I thought I would get. Was I expecting more? Yes. Did I think that I would get this certain amount? I really didn't think I would get anything. So to get something like that was big for me. <laughs> that was big for me. I got that. But all in all, I do believe it's worth it. I be do believe that if you use these resources that everybody has, apply pressure, that you're going to get some results. Now, they may not be the results you want, but they will be results. And if you stick to it, you'll be able to get the results that you want. So that concludes today's video. Thank you all for staying and watching till the end. If you watch till the end, I want you to leave a ice cream emoji in the comments so I know you watch till the end. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment something down below that you want to see next. And I will be talking to you all in my next video. Bye.